Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Wonder Kid Watch where today we've got Rodrigo Ribeiro. Before we get started though, of course, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes. But like I say, today is Rodrigo Ribeiro, the Portuguese striker from Sporting Lisbon who's got plenty of fantastic Wonder Kids in their side, especially the youngsters in the Sporting B team. Um, you've got the likes of some 13 dribbling, 12 first touch, 14 technique and some good athletic stats for physicals along with some good mentals already. Some determination 13, flair 14, 11 composure as well. So very, very promising start to his career hopefully let's take a look at his attributes though before we jump ahead and we can see 153 potential shows that there could be a massive jump in ability and how he could perform in the future currently 80 so we'll need a lot of game time to reach that uh, and some good coaching as well but we shall see if he can make it let's jump ahead 10 years and see how he gets on here we are then, 10 years on. He is now at Lecce in Poland, of all places. So a little bit of a surprising turn in his career. 26 years old now, made 121 appearance for Portugal with 121 goal as well. Um, still a striker who's not actually that lethal. 10 finishing isn't something you'd probably want on a striker, um, especially with such low work rate. It's an interesting kind of thing. Um, maybe as a winger, a little bit better with dribbling and first touch but even his crossing's not that great. Um, physicals look pretty good, though. Um, let's take a look at his career, then, see how he's got on. So he made a bunch of appearances for Sporting's B team, but it doesn't really look like he's made any appearances for the first team before a move to Gil Vicente for £23,000 um, in the Premier League, where he played 24 times for them, only scoring two goals in the two seasons. And then following that, a £140,000 move to Poland with Lecce, where he got 23 appearances and six goals. So, I mean, it's not been a fantastic career or development pathway for him. Um, taking a look at competitions, he did runner up, win runner-up at the Polish FA Cup um, and obviously got his under-21 cap against Turkey at the age of 20. Um, and other awards, I mean, Team of the Week, Best eleven. Not exactly anything to stand out and not even many of them either. So a little disappointing, really, how he's out, how it's come out, really. Uh, technicals are just not really improved enough to be someone that can really stand out in any divisions. Let's take a look at his attributes then. Um, and you can see why. 153 was his potential ability, but... Only reaching 112 at the age of 26. I mean, there's no real hope for him to reach that now. Um, real shame. Would be interesting to see if any any of you guys out there can kind of get a bit more out of him. Because I'm sure he would... I mean, you see the 153 uh, potential ability kind of shows that how good he could get. Um, but he's been very, very limited, that's for sure. But there you go. We will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And of course, leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes. And I will catch you in the next one.